Let's check what you got for the Kirchhoff's voltage law equation before discussing what to do with it. Going around the outside of this equivalent circuit, oops, we get the voltage here. This is for the resistor, this term. This term is for the inductor. And then this one is for the right side, going around in the loop. We can apply the same steps as we did earlier for the Kirchhoff's current law equation to this Kirchhoff's voltage law equation. That is, we can put similar terms on the left and, and similar terms on the right. The current would go on the right and the voltage would go on the left. We can also divide by delta z as before and also take the limit where delta z goes to zero. If we do all this, we're going to get a very similar type of equation as what we got before, which I will write here on the bottom. So this is after going through all those steps we did for Kirchhoff's current law. I'm just applying it to this equation. Sorry, this should be a plus. L prime partial derivative with respect to time. So let's take another step back for a moment and looking at this equation how would you describe this equation in words? Feel free to pause the video. We can say how the voltage changes in space at a particular moment in time along the transmission line depends on the coefficients r and l which depend on the transmission line geometry and the materials you're using and it also depends on the current at that moment and in at that position in space and how the current is changing in time at that same moment uh, at that same position in space in other words the final form of the KVL and KCL equations are two coupled equations when the voltage changes in time that changes the current and as the current changes in time that changes the voltage and so forth these two equations are called the telegrapher's equations. If we solve these two equations, we would have expressions that describe the currents and the voltages along the transmission line and how they change with both, both position and time. Take out your in-class project notebook and write down these two telegrapher's equations and briefly describe what they are, what we can use them for, and how we just derived these two equations using the equivalent circuit you drew previously in your notebook.